So we are back for Monday Nitro, and this is last Monday Nitro before our next pay-per-view. So what are we going to try and do to lift the ratings, to get the ratings better than they are, because they have dropped recently well? And uh, it might seem a bit all over the place, this, but we've got to try and do something. So let's start at the beginning of the card. So we're going to have an opener. Young Dragons are going to win the Cruiserweight Tag Titles over Air Raid after Filthy Animals uh, joining, ending in a free, man, free team brawl afterwards. This is going to be a new title that's on the line at Halloween Havoc. Now Mike Tyson is making his debut and he's doing that by announcing that Jeff Jarrett will face Scott Steiner for the Interim World Championship tonight. Then we have got the TV title on the line. For Wall beats Hugh Morris by cheating. For Wall called out Hugh Morris um, on showdown. They've had their match tonight and For Wall has won. But not cleanly, of course. So that uh, sets up a rematch nicely. Then, I mean, I could have brought out Mike Tyson again, but I thought, you know, let's bring Lennox Lewis out this time. Um and he's going to come out of a ring and he's going to announce that for match tonight is going to have a special guest referee. And that guy is, of course, Hulk Hogan. Then we have got Sid Vicious beating Roadkill um, cleanly. And then afterwards, the Road Warriors come and attack Sid Vicious. Now, this was meant to lead to a free on free brawl. Um, at Halloween Havoc between Totally Buff and Sid against Roadkill and Road Warriors. Buff Bagwell is in rehab, so we've got to rethink that. Um, we could just make it a two-on-two -two and have Sid Vicious replace Buff Bagwell and team with Lex Luger. But we'll sort that on Thunder. Then we've got an interview with Kurt Hennig. Uh, for the last few up four shows, him and Lance Storm have basically been cutting promos on each other. Uh, one show apiece and they're currently two all in for verbal um, fight stakes uh, Shane Douglas called out Jake Roberts last show and uh, he's going to beat him here tonight and then of course New Jack is going to come in and attack Shane Douglas and it's going to set up nicely um, for Rat Pack and the Extreme Revolution expect to see more of them um, on Thunder Expect to see the Rat Pack there. Then we've got Stable Angle involving the Evolution Revolution, just showing them hanging out, discussing what their plan is now that Buff Bagwell's not there. Um, Kevin Nash lost to Sting on uh, Showdown, so he's there. Um, and discussing Sid, you know, getting ambushed by for Road Warriors. They're talking about what they're going to be doing and what, what their plans are. Then uh, Jamie Noble requested a match with Yushin Liga, um, just a good cruiserweight match um, up high in the card, which always goes down well, these matches. Jamie Noble's going to come out on top. Interview with Dustin Rhodes since his gimmick change from an old-school face to an old-school heel. Now he is heel, and he's going to cut a promo on Sting, who he's feuding with, so that should go down well. Now we have got the main event. Jeff Jarrett is going to beat Scott Steiner by an unfair disqualification. That's how he's going to win. Afterwards, Goldberg is going to come in and attack Jarrett and then use our imagination a little bit more. It's going to end up in a free man brawl, setting up on Thunder the announcement that there's going to be a triple threat at Halloween Havoc for the World Championship. So there we go. Good stories on here. Fantastic opener. And the tag titles, the Cruiserweight tag titles, have gained an image. This is what we want. And I should have introduced them a lot sooner. 72%. Expected it to get a little bit more. Uh, but Mike Tyson has made his debut. For Wall and Hugh Morris, that is a surprisingly very good match. I knew they'd have a decent match, but that is very high. So it's just affirmed to me that I've made the right decision sticking these two guys in a feud. And, uh, you know, I could actually keep it just those two at Halloween Havoc, but I'd like to make it a four-way. Uh, but we'll see anyway. So a fantastic two matches so far. But don't forget, Sid Vicious is coming in soon. Uh, and Jake Roberts. Lennox Lewis comes to the ring, he announces that for the upcoming special guest referee match, 
The referee will be none other than Hulk Hogan. Out from the back comes Hogan, wearing a ref shirt, who plays to the crowd from the entranceway. 81%. You know, this is up against Raw. The fans should be turning over to Nitro. A lot has gone on so far. We've had some quality matches, and Lennox Lewis and Mike Tyson have come out to make announcements. This is where it goes downhill, though. Roadkill and Sid Vicious, 59%. Um, just very average, not great. Not not good, but not amazingly bad. Um, Road Warrior Hawk drops Sid to the canvas, and then he locks on Hangman's neckbreaker. Sid has been left down on the canvas. But Kurt Hennig has brought the show back with 90% interview rating. Not bad, considering Jake Roberts is in there. Um, New Jack slams Douglas down. He climbs to the top rope and it's flying headbutt. Don't forget, New Jack and Shane Douglas have had some history. They've had a feud before uh, when New Jack was a part of the Filthy Animals. Uh, they fought for Rat Pack and now Shane, uh, New Jack is a part of the Extreme Revolution and they're going to face Rat Pack. So uh, there's a lot of uh, storytelling behind these matches tonight. Evolution Revolution are all hanging out backstage. 72%. That's what we want. Yushin Liga and Jamie Noble. Fantastic cruiserweight match. And the current cruiserweight champion is Lash Leroux. The one or two, both of these guys are going to appear against him at um, the Halloween Havoc, which I'm sure will go down very well. And Dustin Rhodes' new gimmick got a positive response. 89% laying into Sting, that's worked out nicely. Now, let's see how the main event went down. We're not expecting a high match quality, but we're expecting a good crowd reaction, and we did get it. Overall, 83%, very successful. Uh, the interior world title has lost image, but never mind. Let's see how it goes. Uh, Scott Steiner floors Jeff Jarrett. Steiner recliner, Jarrett's almost unconscious. Hulk Hogan was, has called for the bell. Montreal screwjob. Popper Pump is celebrating, also quite the opposite actually, uh, until the ring announcer says that he's been disqualified for using a closed fist punch during the earlier flurry. Hulk Hogan has screwed Scott Steiner over. Goldberg comes running down the aisle with a chair. Jarrett's just leaving the ring and Goldberg scores with a brutal chair shot. Jarrett falls to the floor holding his head. Fantastic end to the show and overall that is what we want. 77% brilliant nitro show and it just shows all your top stars don't have to be performing just good matches you know for big names don't necessarily equate to good matches as we all know that should do a decent rating still not good but not as low as it has been um 4.8 roadkill doesn't have what it takes right okay Sid Vicious wants Dusty Rhodes again. Let's uh, have a look. Is it even worth it anymore? Nash has gone down to six. Goldberg's the same. Buff's not here because he's at rehab. Lance Storm's 33%. Um, I don't think there's any way back for Rey Mysterio, but let's just keep it out a bit. Uh, you should push Kaz Hayashi more. Okay. Well, we can sort that out. Let's push him a bit more, Kaz. Yeah, oh, yeah, he's an opener. Let's stick him up. And is that a thank you? No, it's not. Okay. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's going well. We've got... Let's go to Thursday, only three days away from our next pay-per-view so we'll leave that there get thunder sorted and be back with another video